Welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. In the beginner series, I try to introduce to you different tools, both power tools and quite frankly, I want to be able to show you some hand tools as well that you need to have in the shop. One of the tools that I've discussed before is tape measures and rulers. And today what I want to discuss is having a good caliper in your shop. This is a very valuable tool to be able to have whether you're working with the wood, metal, or the CNC machines. Having the calipers in the shop is a definite plus. And today I'm going to show you the features and benefits of this calipers. So let's go ahead and get started. For the past several years, these are the calipers that I have used. One is the digital caliper that I picked up at Harbor Freight. And this one, quite frankly, this dial type caliper, I don't even remember where I've got it because I've had it for so many years. But the downside to this is both of these are plastic. And plastic calipers, well, they do wear out over time and lose the accuracy. So the first question you may ask is, why do I like this set of calipers? Well, the main thing is, this one is made of stainless steel. And that makes it much more durable. Now, these points are very sharp. I'm going to set this to the inches. And let's just say I have this set. Let's say I have this set for one inch. You have a little locking mechanism right there that you can turn and lock. And with that set, you can literally take the calipers and just scribe a line. I don't know if you'll be able to see that in the camera or not, but I was able to scribe a line right there and know exactly that that is one inch from there to that line. So you can measure on, I'm going to go ahead and loosen this now. So you can measure for the external measurements, such as this. And you can measure the internal measurements. You can also measure the thickness of it. And if I change this over, you can see that that's 30 millimeters. And that's exactly what it should be. And the other nice thing, you have this dial. This gauge right here at the other end. So if you want to measure inside of something, you have this. So this gives you a wide variety of different combinations to be able to measure. And the other thing that I like, this is the battery compartment right up here. And this just slips right out. And this is the 2032 battery that will fit in there. And it fits in there very easily. Now, one of the features that I like most about this, I'm going to switch this back over to the inches. In the inches, I can actually measure out to the thousandths. And then it actually goes, after the thousandths, it goes to the ten thousandths at a half a thousandth at a time. So if I have 273 thousandths, well, 273.5 thousandths. And that's amazing accuracy that you can have. That is something that I did, that I quite frankly did not have with this. Now with this old caliper that I had, I did not have that. I would only go to the hundreds and that is it. So it was not nearly as accurate. And I will tell you this, over time, you can see right down here, this is actually wearing and you can see daylight through there. So it's not as accurate. And up here at the top, you can see how that, there is daylight here. So it's not gonna give you accurate measurements. The other disadvantage of this one, the battery was almost impossible to replace and fit in. Yes, it came off, but boy, was that tight to get in there. And it made it very difficult. So back to this one. So what are the pluses? It's stainless steel. You can use it to mark uh, the surfaces of the wood. You can mark or measure. You can measure the internal, external, and the depth of the material. And you have this locking mechanism. And of course, this goes to the thousandths of an inch, which is very nice. And of course, when you switch over to the millimeters, it will go into the hundreds of a millimeter, which is still quite accurate. 
Now I'm going to have a link in the description below where you can purchase this and you can purchase this at a 40% discount. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. There's a 40% discount. Now this is a limited time only and I'll have the expiration date and all the information in the description below. Now I want to give you a few more specs on this. This is a stainless steel ruler body and a zinc alloy shell. The range of this goes from zero to the six inches or about 150 millimeters. The accuracy, if we're looking at millimeters, is accurate to within two hundredths of a millimeter or one thousandth of an inch. I don't know of too many things that I need in my shop that I need to go more than a thousandth of an inch as far as accuracy. I hope you take the opportunity to use the link down below to take a closer look at this set of calipers. And also, if you wish to, purchase and take advantage of the 40% discount. I know that this set of calipers is going to be replacing those old plastic ones that I've been using for quite some time. So this, for me, is a huge upgrade in the shop because I do use calipers all the time. I use them not only for the CNC machines, but also use them for just a normal everyday woodworking, as well as when I'm doing the wood turning with the lathe. The calipers are an essential tool in my shop. I know this was a very short video today, but it's something that I really wanted to be able to get out to you guys and be able to share this with you, because I do think that this potentially could be a very valuable tool in your shop. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button and by all means, please subscribe and hit the little bell notification. It's right down there and I would appreciate it very much. So I want to take the opportunity to also thank my Patreons. My Patreon community is growing and I really love having all the Patreons been able to help support this channel. It really helps a lot. So until next time, I want to say that I really appreciate each and every one of you. I thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video on whatever project that I'm working on. And I would appreciate if you leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of project that you would like to see because I do have quite a few CNC projects as well as the laser and I'm looking at some other projects to do both in the shop and outside the shop. So please leave me some comments. I'm looking forward to seeing what type of project that you guys would like to see.